Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Dragon Age Joss from Instructions, joined by my friend Rocky. How's it going? Okay, so last week we did a Glalie. Uh, this week, what are the topics? This week, the topics are Disney, mm -hmm. Nintendo, mm -hmm. and Yu Gi Oh! Ooh, Yu Gi Oh! Oh, yes, so Nintendo is new, so is Yu-Gi-Oh, but Disney was actually um, requested by a comment by Funny Fluffy. So, you know what, I think we're going to go with Disney, just because of that. Okay. I'm curious about that. So, let's get started. What is the uh, first instruction, please? Draw an uh, oval shape. Okay, horizontal or vertical? Up and down. Okay, how big? Um, probably about the size of your fist, like usual. <laughs> Size of fist as usual. Alrighty. Oh. One of the easiest things to uh coordinate to, I guess, size wise. Yeah, that does make sense. Alright, there you go. Oval is ready. Okay. Now underneath the oval, draw another draw a circle that's about three fourths the size. That attaches to the lower half of the uh of the oval. Okay. Three fourths the size. But going sideways. You said circle though, right? Yeah, but uh it's like kinda like tilted to the side. Okay. It's a little weird. <laughs> it's a circle, but it has kind of an edge to it. Like, it's a weird shape. <laughs> okay, well I, I will uh, try my best. There we go. I think I've got it. <laughs> Alright. You now have the body of the figure. Now draw four pig-like legs. Four pig-like legs. Alrighty then. Um, pig-like legs. From the bottom of the circle. From the bottom of the circle. Darn it, I don't think I have enough space. So I put the oval in the middle of the page, but it takes up like the entire page. So one second then. Let me... Redo it. I got a question. I got a question for you. What's that? We, most kids in our generation grew up with Disney. And I know I personally have that one Disney movie that is close to my heart. What's that for you? Oh, jeez. I honestly don't know. I've always really enjoyed uh, Lion King. Mm -hmm. I guess I would say that would be one of my favorites. Tarzan is really good, too. I really like the... Uh, Gorillas! Gorillas! Um, the music in Tarzan. Um, Little Mermaid, I remember. Which one is it for you? It's probably a tie between Lion King and... I'm pretty sure this is a Disney movie, but I can't quite 100%. I can't... Pixar's a part of Disney, right? Um, Disney's Pixar, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Inside and Out. Inside Out. Inside Out? Yeah. Okay. That was a the newer reason, one. Yeah. The reason Inside Out specifically is because it shows the amount of trouble kids with go with learning about their emotions. It really goes into the fact that dr being a kid is no easier than being an adult. That is true. On the back of the circle, draw a kind a tail shape thick at the top, uh, thick, at, thick at the start, and then going skinnier. Straight up. Straight up. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see here. Start from right there. How big? Um, I would say about the length of half your finger. Oh, only half my finger? Yeah, it's, it's a fairly short tail. Okay. Then I'll have to erase them because I already made it pretty darn big. Now, I know a lot of kids like the, uh, the more scarier Disney movies. Mm -hmm. But what, what do you think? Like, do you think that that Disney movie should still have that element of surprise and scary, even if it's meant for adult children? Or do you think they should all be like family friendly? I I don't know what even is family friendly anymore. I think that d the way old Disney movies were done, you know, Little Mermaid, Lion King, they had terrible things happening in them, right? And it's a show for yeah. children. But I think it worked because they didn't ever, you know, scare me. And when I was a kid, I was easily 
um, scared by, by things like that. So I don't think that it should be um, made into something that's like, I don't know, Dora the Explorer kind of thing. Like, it, it, it shouldn't be going too soft, but it also shouldn't totally ignore and totally forget the fact that it is for children. Mm-hmm. Well, have you seen the uh, the new movie Coco? No, I haven't. I uh, Pixar. Nope. Definitely after this, you should take a look at the trailer. Okay, I may do that. So you have the oval shape done, right? Mm-hmm. All right, at the top of the oval, draw two little ovals, kind of like ears. Kind of like ears. All right. One on each side. Are they sticking straight up, or are they kind of at an angle, or...? Yeah, the, one's to the side and one straight up. One's to the side, all right. There we go. A lot of people, not, a lot of people might not know this, but we've been friends for since like grade five. Yeah. yeah. We know each other quite well. But it's amazing that there's still so much I'm always learning about you. <laughs> you as well. It's kind of funny how that works, even though you've known someone for for years and years, you can still learn new things about them. Draw eyes the size of pennies. Actually, a little bit smaller than a penny. Okay. A little bit under the ears, inside the oval shape. By the way, you chose a medium difficulty drawing this week. That is okay. Two eyes underneath the ears. Okay. I don't know what kind of eyes. If it's supposed to be like dog eyes, this year, these are gonna look very terrible. <laughs> there we go. Now at the end of the tail, mm -hmm. add some hair. Add some hair. Kind of like a rhino's. You know how rhin rhino's tail are? Um, not really. I think I've already kind of ruined it, and I've decided to go with, uh, whatever this kind of hair is right now. Um, there you go. I'm looking at it right now, and that's very similar to what they have. Oh, is it? Yay me! <laughs> now, you have a choice. Do you want to work on the body more, or the, or the face? Uh, let's go face. Add a mohawk-style hair to the top of the head going down the bottom of the head. On the right side, kind of make it go down like a mohawk. Like, oh, a, not, okay. not like mo a mullet. That's what it's called, a mullet. Okay, I will attempt because I feel like this is not really the best idea here. Or be best, um, not idea, but best... Um, Representation. Sure, let's go with that. I don't know how far, all the way? Uh, about halfway. Halfway? Okay, then I'll cut it off. Right there. I do not recognize this character yet, by the way. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> I was expecting maybe Pluto at the very beginning, because it kind of looked dog-ish. Yeah. But uh, definitely doesn't seem that way now. I'll give you a hint. The character you're drawing is quite big, like, weight-wise. Is, is this a, an old Disney character or a new one? For us, old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just uh, just for people who are questioning, we're about a year's difference apart, so we're not that old, but it's considered old for us. <laughs> we're in our 20s, so... <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, everyone knows I'm already 23, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting at, what, 22? I don't know, you would know more than me. <laughs> I'm pretty Absolutely. sure you're 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 you're, yeah, did, hip, did, did. you're a year younger than I am, so I'm pretty sure yes. Yeah, I'm sitting at 22. <laughs> he has one tooth, one tooth, and he has a small kind of mouth. There you and go. He he's smiling. Oh well. <laughs> Then that doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Here we go. A little tiny smile. And one little tiny tooth. There you go. Perfect. Now draw a big triangle for his nose. About the size of a nickel. Size of a nickel. Right above the mouth. Size of a nickel. What is that? That's like thumb... 
thumb size kind of thing. Okay, so right above the mouth? Yeah. Try oh, that, that That looks really, really weird. Okay, well... Uh... With, uh, with curved edges. Okay. There you go. And put two holes for nostrils. Alrighty. One little hole there. One little hole there. Now next to the nose, put two big tusks. Two big tusks. Um, okay. I, I think I might know who this is. Let's see. I, I thought the tusk would give it away. Okay, the, the, these tusks look terrible, by the way. Just so you know. But, uh... Oh, <laughs> it's terrible! Come on, it looks like he's got a freaking stone mustache or something. It, it looks ridiculous. Um, I, just, I gotta, gotta get rid of the hair from inside the tusk, though. Because that doesn't make sense. Excuse me, mohawk hair there. <laughs> and face edge over there. Perfect, got it. Uh, let's put that back, put that back. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so if you win, what charity do you think you're gonna... Uh, oh, I have no clue. <laughs> there we go. There's a weird tusk things. This looks horrid. Now, on his body, draw... Or kind of shade in the bottom, like a, like a dark belly. Dirk Billy already then. I will. Done did my bestish here. I use that to what is it? Cross hatching, I believe this is called. For shading. This is something we learned in art class years ago. That's it? You've that? created the character? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Pumbaa. Yes. Yes? <laughs> this looks nothing like Pumbaa. Are you kidding me? <laughs> These tusks are horrid. <laughs> his ears, his, his flippin' face, oh my god, this is like... This is the worst Pumbaa in existence. <laughs> Cross it out. <laughs> okay, well, here, here you go. It It's... Pumba. There we go. <laughs> I guessed it right. I knew from the tusks and from the tail. I, I was trying yeah, to figure as soon out. As I said tusks, I was pretty sure you had it. <laughs> what what character has like a single tooth? I'm confused. His mouth is doesn't his mouth like take up his entire head pretty much? Uh, his mouth does take up most of his uh about thirty percent of his head. But he only has one too. Well, either way, uh, that is certainly interesting. <laughs> this is the most interesting Pumbaa ever. I mean, I guess I, I could I could give him hooves. Yeah. Give him a little bit of hoof instead of just these little round bottomed leg things, as if he's made out of clay. I I, I think this is the the worst. Well, okay, it, it it's pretty terrible for it, for an impression. It's definitely hard. To describe to draw Pumbaa. Trying to tell people how to draw a figure without using descriptive, like, overly descriptive words. Oh my god, it's the hardest thing you can ever do. I'm probably just ruining the drawing now. Making it I think it worse. looks better. Does it? This is my Pumbaa drawing. <laughs> so I hope everyone out there enjoyed this. May not be the uh, best impression of Pumbaa, but it, it, it still kind of came out somewhat okay. This, this is... We, we shall call this, um, hmm, what kind of Pumba? Clay Pumba. There, Clay Pumba. Perfect. That That's what it is now. It is Clay Pumba, because he looks kind of like he's made out of clay. <laughs> um, probably not even. Uh, the, but I guess that that is that. So thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I guess this does give me one extra point, so, uh, let's see here, this, that should be an R, not a, what is that? So Dragon that puts eight. our point total, total to two. two and one. And Rocky at one, there we go, sorry for the terribly messy handwriting. Oh god!
done. Pumba there, real Pumba over here. Um, you you can compare them. Mine is totally the superior Pumba. Uh, yeah. So that is it, and I guess uh, we will see you all next week. Don't forget to leave in the uh, comments below what you think. Uh, w where should it be? This way? Com comments? Yes. What you thought of this, uh, and and please uh, confirm my suspicions that mine is the superior Pumba. I'm just going to make one small little quick change here to his name. Superior Clay Pumba. There we go. Fancy. Perfect. Superior Clay Pumba. That is his name. <clears throat> also, give us some suggestions in the comments down below of some characters you might want to see. Uh, to don't forget to comment, like, comment, like, and subscribe. I'm always looking at the comments, and I'm always looking for more ideas. Absolutely. So that's it for now, and uh, we will see you. Uh, let's point at the camera. We will see you all next week. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and God bless. Bye. Have a good night.